Hi everyone, this session is about linear homogeneous recurrence relation. In this session, we are going to see about what is a recurrence relation and how to model the real world problems into the recurrence relation and how to generate the series using recurrence relation. And also we are going to see some terminology. What is degree of the recurrence relation? Why it is called as a linear and homogeneous? And suppose multiple solutions are given to the recurrence relation, whether the given one is a solution or not, we can find out. And how to solve the recurrence relation that is using two methods. First one is substitution method and using the roots. And in this roots also, we are going to see if the roots are distinct or if both are same or with a different multiplicity, how to solve the recurrence relation we are going to see in this session. Let's get into the session. First, we will see the definition. A recurrence relation for the sequence a suffix n, it is an equation that is a n is expressed in terms of one or more previous terms. Previous terms means like here a0, a1, a2 and so on, a n minus 1 are the previous terms. That means n is expressed in terms of a0, a1, a2 and so on, a n minus 1. Where n is non-negative integer. So it should not be a negative and it must be a integer. Suppose a5 equal to a3 plus 2 into a2. That means a5 is expressed in terms of the previous terms that is a3 and a2. So a5 can be expressed in terms of a0, a1, a2 and so on up to a4 it can be able to express. Similarly an can be expressed in terms of a0, a1, a2 and so on a n minus 1. Now we will see how to generate the series. So now we will see how to generate the series. And the given recurrence relation is a n equal to a n minus 1 minus a n minus 2 for n greater than or equal to 2. That means n is taking the values 2, 3, 4 and so on. And the initial values are supplied here that is a0 equal to 3 and a1 equal to 5. a0 and a1 already given. Now we will calculate a2. So in place of n just we need to keep 2. So the equation is a n minus 2 that is a2 minus 1 minus a2 minus 2. So now this becomes like a1 minus 2 minus 2 is 0. So a1 is already given that is 5 minus a0 equal to 3. So that we got 2. Similarly we will calculate a3 also. In place of n we are going to substitute 3. That is a3 minus 1 minus a3 minus 2. That is equal to 3 minus 1 is 2 minus e of 3 minus 2 is 1. So that equal to a2 is just now we have calculated that is 2 minus a1 is 5. So it is minus 3. Similarly we can calculate a4. a4 minus 1 minus a4 minus 2. That is equal to a3 minus a2. a3 is minus 3 minus a2 is 2. So it is minus 5. Similarly, we can calculate a5, a6 and so on. Now the series is a0 is 3 and a1 is 5 and a2 is 2 and a3 is minus 3 and a4 is minus 5. So that by using the given recurrence relation, we can calculate the series. Now we will see how to model the real world problems into recurrence relation. See the problem statement here. The number of bacteria in a colony doubles every hour. If a colony begins with 5 bacteria, how many will present in n hours? This is the problem statement. Let a n be the number of bacteria at the end of n hours. 
So the number of bacteria presented after n hours is represented as a n equal to according to the problem statement it doubles the number of bacteria present in n minus 1 hours. So how to represent the number of bacteria present in n minus 1 hours is a of n minus 1. So this is the formula and the bacteria started with the number 5 so that we are representing as a naught equal to 5. This is a very simple equation but when you are calculating we are going to get a problem. Suppose I want to calculate the bacteria after 30 hours. So my n value is 30. So I need to calculate a of 30 equal to 2 into a of 29. That is 30 minus 1 is 29. So in order to get this count, first I need to calculate a of 29. Then only I can calculate a of 30. So, to calculate a of 29, again I have to use the same formula that is 2 into a of 29 minus 1 so that I can write it as 2 into a of 28. So, in order to calculate a of 29, I need to calculate a of 28 first. Similarly, in order to calculate E of 28, I need to calculate E of 27. In order to calculate E of 27, I need to calculate E of 26. So, this goes on like this. So, we need to find a solution for this recurrence relation. How to find that? See here, A naught is equal to 5 and A1 is equal to double the size of a naught so that I can write A naught here and I can write A2 equal to that means the number of bacteria after 2 hours is 2 into A1 that is number of bacteria after 1 hour. So I can also write it as 2 into A1 can be replaced with 2 into A naught. Similarly A3 equal to 2 into Bacteria presented after 2 hours is this one. So that I can replace with 2 into 2 into A naught. So if you observe the pattern here, this one I can write it as 2 power 1 A naught. This can also be represented as 2 power 2 A naught. This can be represented as 2 power 3 A naught. Similarly, I can write A n equal to 2 power n a naught. So, this is the solution for the recurrence relation. So, now if you want to calculate the count after 30 hours, you need not to calculate e of 29 and 28 need not to be calculated. So, e of 30 that means the count after 30 hours is equal to 2 power 30 into a naught. A naught is, is what? The bacteria has started with 5. So, A naught value is 5. So, this is the count of the bacteria after 30 hours. We will see another example for model the recurrence relation. The problem statement is, suppose a person deposits 10,000 rupees in savings account at a bank yielding 11% per year with interest compounded annually. So, how much will be in the account after 25 years? So, let us take P n be the amount in the account after n years. So, how to calculate this? P n is calculated as n minus 1 years amount plus nth year interest. So, n minus 1 years amount is represented as P of n minus 1. So, we are calculating P n that is the amount after n years. So, n minus 1 years amount is P of n minus 1 plus. So, nth year interest is amount in the n minus 1 years that is P of n minus 1 and interest is 11%. It can be represented as 0.11. 
So this is the formula. Suppose after 25 years, after 25 years means P of 25 is equal to P of 24 plus P of n minus 1 is n value is 25 years. So it is 24 into 0 0.11 I can write it as. So in order to calculate P of 25, we need to calculate what is P of 24. So what is the formula for P of 24? P of 24 equal to P of 23 plus P of 23 into 0 0.11 we need to calculate. Similarly, in order to calculate P of 23, we need to calculate P of 22. And in order to calculate P of 22, we need to calculate P of 21 and so on. So this is the disadvantage of it. So now we need to calculate the solution for it. So how to calculate so how to calculate the solution for it? The initial amount is P0 is 10,000 rupees. So how to calculate the amount which is present after one year? That is P1 is equal to P of 0 that is n minus 1th year amount plus interest in the nth year. So interest is what? 0 0.11 into so P0 we need to write. Here we can rewrite it as P0 can be taken as a common. So what we can write if you take common 1 plus 0 0.11 into P. So this can be expressed as 1.11 into P0. Similarly, P2 can be calculated. So that is P1 plus 0 0.11 into P1. Instead of P1, we can substitute this one. So P1 equal to 1.11 into P0 plus 0 0.11 into P1 is 1.11 into P0. So here we are going to take this 1.11 into P0 as common so that we are going to get 1 plus 0 0.11. So this is nothing but 1.11. So that what I can write 1.11 whole square into P0 I can write. So if you observe P1 is equal to 1.11 into P0 and when you calculate P2 it is 1.11 whole star into P0. So similarly we can write Pn equal to 1.11 whole power n into P0. So after 25 years what will be the amount in the account? So n is equal to 25 so that P of 25 is equal to 1.11 whole power 25 into P naught. P naught is given in the problem as 10,000. So in this P of 24 and P of 23 and so on, we need not to calculate. Directly we can substitute the value of N and we can get the value. So this is the solution for the recurrence relation. So the next problem is Tower of Hanoi. So in this, some disks are placed in the source. Here S is source and D is destination and B is buffer spindle. So when n number of disks are there in the source and we need to move all the n disks into the destination and by following some rule. The rule is we can keep the small disk on the bigger one but not the reverse. In order to get that, here I have taken only three disks. First step is, if n number of disks are there, n minus one disk, we need to move to the buffer. So we left with only one disk. When we have transferred n minus one number of disks to the buffer, we left with only one disk in the source. So first we need to move n minus 1 number of disks into the buffer. So that step is going to be represented as how many disks we are moving? So n minus 1 number of disks must be moved from source to buffer. So after that we left with only one disk. So that one disk must be transferred to destination so that the bigger disk will be 
kept here so since we are moving only one disk so it i can take it as only one move so that after that only one move is happened so next one so now n minus 1 number of disks in the buffer now buffer will act as a source and all this n minus 1 number of disks we need to move to the destination so next one is n minus 1 number of disks we need to move from buffer to destination so in the first step we are transferring n minus 1 number of disks from s to b that is from source to b so it can be represented as a of n minus 1 and here is only one move as we have only one disk and similarly here n minus 1 number of disks we are moving from buffer to destination it can also be represented as a of n minus 1 so total number of moves to transfer n number of disks is a of n minus 1 plus 1 move plus a of n minus 1. That we can write it as 2 into a of n minus 1 plus 1. Suppose if I have 10 disks, so I need to calculate a of 10. So to calculate a of 10, the formula is 2 into a of 9 plus 1. So, in order to calculate e of 10, I need to calculate e of 9. Definitely, to calculate e of 9, e of 8 should be calculated. This is the problem. Similarly, whatever we have done in the previous steps, that is substitution method, using that we will find the solution for the recurrence relation. Now, we will find the solution. That is, a n equal to 2 into a n minus 1 plus 1. So 2 into, here we are writing a of n minus 1 formula. That is 2 into a of, in place of n we need to keep n minus 1. So n minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 and plus 1. So this is the formula for a of n minus 1. Now we are going to simplify this. That is we are multiplying with 2. So I can write it as 2 power 2 into a of n minus 2 plus 2 into 1, 2 plus 1. a of n minus 2 is 2 into a of, in place of n we need to keep n minus 2. So n minus 2 minus 1 plus 1, it is nothing but 2 into a of n minus 3 plus 1. This is the thing we are going to substitute in e of n minus 2. So we are going to get 2 square into 2 into e of n minus 3 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1. I can rewrite it as 2 power 3 into e of n minus 3 plus 2 square means what? It is 4. So 4 plus 2 plus 1. Now I have to generalize this. So how can we generalize this one? It is equal to whether I need to write 2 power n or n minus 1, we got a question here. If I substitute n, this becomes like 2 power 3. In place of 3, I am just keeping n into a of n minus. In place of 3, I just need to keep n. So n minus n plus and so on 4 plus 2 plus 1. So what will happen for this e of n minus n 2 power n into e of 0. So what is 0? 0 is nothing but number of disks. So 0 number of disks means it is not meaningful. Suppose if you have keep n minus 1, the formula will become 2 power n minus 1 into e of n minus n minus 1, minus n plus 1, plus and so on, 4 plus 2 plus 1, so that n, n cancel. So we will get 2 power n minus 1 into a of 1, plus and so on, 4 plus 2 plus 1. So a 1 means number of disks are 1. It is meaningful. So we need to substitute n minus 1, but not n. So, I am replacing here with 
n minus 1. So, we need to write n minus 1th term. So, 2 power n minus 1 into a of n minus n plus 1 plus and so on 4 plus 2 plus 1. If you observe here when it is 3 here we are writing 3. When it is 2 here we got 2. Similarly when it is n 2 power n minus 1 we are writing here n minus 1. So n n cancel. So we are simplifying as 2 power n minus 1 into a 1. So a 1 is what a1 is number of moves when one disc is there. So when only one disc is there a1 is nothing but 1. So that I can replace this a1 with 1. So when multiplied with 1 we will get only 2 power n minus 1 plus and so on 4 plus 2 plus 1 it is nothing but so, its value is 2 power n minus 1. It is a series like 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus and so on 2 power n minus 1. It is a formula and we can it is equivalent to 2 power n minus 1. So, the number of discs are 4. The formula is 2 power 4 minus 1 number of moves. Similarly, if number of discs are 10, the number of moves required is 2 power 10 minus 1. So, using this formula, we can calculate the number of moves for the Towers of Hanoi. So, the solution for the Towers of Hanoi recurrence relation is a n is equal to 2 power n minus 1.